sweet a disposition. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. Have you ever heard of a boodle beetle? Well, confidentially, neither have we. But it seems that long ago, these little creatures were plentiful. But because of an inborn love for travel and adventure, the boodle beetle is now a rare little bug. The bug collector, er, <clears throat> the entomologist, regards this little bug as a prize for his collection. Going somewhere, Sonny? Well, I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry if I were you. There's danger lurking out in them woods, and you're just setting yourself for a heap of trouble. You know, there's not many of us boodles left, and it's just because too many of them have set out across that stream and never come back. And here you go, a setting your cap for the same medicine. Sit down, Sonny, and let me tell you a story. When I was a young pup and full of vinegar, <laughs> just like yourself, I had ideas of adventure, too. So, I packed my bag and said goodbye to my home. <laughs> I'm a little funny about this sentimental stuff. And set out for what was going to be the doggondest adventure. I'll have to admit, it was pretty fascinating at first. anything like this happen. Uh-oh. What's this? Big, tall things that disappear in the sky. Phew. A bug sure has to be careful when he's out looking for adventure. But unknown to me at the time, there was lurking in the forest a horrible monster. What's that now? Well, uh, head stats look about what? Huh? Oh, so long. I'll give up. Well, I guess I must have walked hundreds of miles that first day. I was just picking them up and laying them down. I just didn't feel up to it. So I thought I'd lay down for a little shut-eye and tackle it in the morning. Well, suddenly, I had the feeling I wasn't alone. And there, on top of the mountain, I saw a most amazing thing. Well, being a curious little fellow, I decided to investigate. And there it was. A horrible monster, millions of feet high. I sneaked out to get a better look, and suddenly, it moved. Huh? I looked again. Two hideous eyes glared at me. A bigger bigger. That's him. Hello! I can't get back in! Come on, Smurf Rat. Let's go rest of the time. <laughs> oh, there you go, Trigger, you shrimp. You never get away from us again. I'll get you again, you brat. Sound. 
So there I was, headed for I don't know what. It was simply terrifying. I tried again and again to escape, but it was no use. If only I had listened to Mama. Just think of it. Your famous Professor Duck. Oh, do I? I had just the door knock. Now what? <laughs> the door opened, and there he was. Suddenly, I realized that this was my last chance. It was now or never. It's done. <laughs> little bug. And do you think I cared what folks thought about the sentimental stuff? <laughs> no siree. So you see, Sonny, home isn't such a bad place after all. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking. For all I know, that monster may be looking for me yet. Oh! 
Roasting a duck.
What's going on around here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, I don't know. Drop that, you rat. Reach for the ceiling. Shut that door, you son!
Uncle Smiley, your musical philosopher, will talk to you on self-control. Here he is. 
Hello, 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 my friend. Today we conquer anger with a smile. <laughs> Have you ever lost your temper? Have you? Oh, yes. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you can control that temper, my friend. It's very simple. Here's the secret. Listen. When anger rises in your soul, laugh and count to ten. Self-control should be your goal. Laugh and count to ten. <laughs> Now, isn't that a wonderful philosophy? Eh? Yeah, great stuff, great stuff. I'm going to do it. Yes, I can't do that. Yes, I can't do that. <laughs> Always remember to count ten when your anger rises. When you're tangled up in trouble, don't fret the live long day. For trouble's just a bubble, just laugh your cares away. <laughs> <laughs> and now, for instance, take the birdies, our little feathered friends. They never lose their tempers, and don't we love them all? Hmm? <laughs> and now let us sing like the birdies do. To eat, tweet, tweet, to eat, tweet, tweet, the birds sing merrily. To eat, tweet, 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 they're happy as can be. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> and remember, always ignore petty trifles, won't you? Ah, uh, that's right. I'll just ignore him. So uh, I'll just ignore him. Bring our little program to a close by singing. <laughs> Laugh and count to ten. <laughs> now all together, let's count up to ten. One, two, three, four.
Lounge.
<laughs> you! This is all yours. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Have no fear. I do not intend to fight. Oh, so you don't fight, huh? Look, your petticoat showing. Now, now. <laughs> Talk this over. You are interested in an aeroplane? Now, this little job, a beauty, is yours for absolutely no down payment. No? Absolutely not. Ah, yes. <laughs> A little matter of insurance. <laughs> Thank you. Little does he know that I, Ben Buzzard, am the beneficiary. <laughs> Contact. Okay, contact.
will get him. Let's play follow the leader. Eh? Okay. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> Gather really 
these duties and entertaining these co-eds is part of your regular duties. A rum pa da a rum pa da a rum pa da pa pa Oh, the army's not the army anymore. You better pass your physical examination. Oh, sorry. That's a sludge. Okay, buddy. Through that door. Three quarters. Chest. Fourteen and a half. Sleeve length. Seventeen three quarters. So 
What was that? I'm gonna say nothing. You've got to learn discipline. See? Attention! And don't move a muscle. See? Yes, sir. Attention! I said don't move! Oh, 
is where you get off.